Hello and welcome back and so today we're going to be learning how to use Maya. So in this lesson I'm going to give you guys a brief introduction about Maya. Okay so uh, whenever this, if this is the first time you open up Maya so you should be having something like this and uh, this is where we create our stuff and this is called viewport. So and over here, like we have all file, edit, create, select, modify, display, okay? And these are all like common tabs that we use um, to create stuff, to save our file, to edit, delete, okay? To select for selection. And modify, of course, uh, after we created something, we change, okay? And display, it's about, yeah, the, the elements that we can display right here. Okay, heads up display. Okay, and windows uh, will be more important where we restructure. Okay, our workspace. Okay, and then also that um, we have general things right here. Okay, you can turn on and off like whatever it's being seen. And uh, we have mesh. Okay, mesh is polygon, and polygon it's whatever we create from here. And edit mesh will be after you created something, you change. Okay, you edit it. And there are some tools for mesh. Okay, for you to uh, modify. All right, and uh, mesh displays not too important for now. And of course, curves uh, it's the type of the, the lines that you can draw and. Um, Maya and you can edit from here and surface will be uh, surface modeling and uh, deform uh, it's some deformers that we have to edit or change okay things the, the shape okay using different ways rather than just extrude and all okay and UV it's about texture coordinates okay and the rest is not that important for now okay so uh, right here it's also a, a kind of like a small menu that allows you to to switch okay the sets so for example if we're using modeling so these are all for modeling stuff okay rigging will be more towards uh, setting up okay rigging oriented and animation okay we have effects we have renderings and you can customize of course we'll go back to modeling Okay, and uh, these are all the, the shelves. Okay, it's called a shelf, whereby everything is buttonized, so we can see uh, whatever stuff that we wanted to create uh, with buttons. Okay, buttons visibility. Okay, and next up, um, uh, this is outliner, and let's say I created something here, so it will be showing right here. So this is kind of like a list. Okay whereby uh, it shows you all the stuff that we have in the scene okay so it's good to have one and uh, if let's say I wanted to select my my cube that I've just created and it's not being shown here but it's shown here so I can click delete okay and I can click this to delete okay and also let's go ahead and start creating our first object so you can click this to create a sphere okay and it shows right here and if you wanted to change things you want to modify you go to here channel box and layer editor okay so uh, if you look into here you can see that we have inputs if you click this so this shows you uh, some details okay or parameters about our sphere so right now like if we want to look at it closer we can click alternate right click okay to zoom uh, just hold on uh, okay all right I uh, just want to make sure uh, I'm still recording this okay so we can select this too and we can reduce okay by using the mouse button so if you want to change certain people they like to go here and change you know like tap 20 but for me I prefer to select the text and meta mouse click anywhere empty here and drag okay this is more efficient and I think it's a better way to do it so you can see the real uh, the live results 
okay or you can just highlight this two and type in 20 if you know that there's a specific number you want and this will be allowing us to scale up and down okay change the size okay and you can see also like if I move this around okay so it shows you like how many units that I have uh, changed or translated okay all right so some details about curation and some details about placement okay so next up I would like to talk about how do we navigate through the scene okay so um, you can click this and if you want to rotate the cameras you can click alternate and left click to rotate okay rotate up and down alternate right click to zoom in and out okay alternate middle click to move the cameras around or we should say pan in a more professional way so panning the cameras okay all right next up I want to talk about display of an object okay so if let's say I would like to reduce down to maybe about like 12 okay you can see that it's low poly and if I click number one it shows just fine like normal if I click number two it shows you something different okay if I click number three it shows a smooth version so if you uh, toggle in between one and three so that you can see that this is the basic version that's the smooth version if you click number two number two it's the ones that shows you both options okay it shows number one and number three together okay so it's like it's showing you the effect all right and number four it's a wireframe mode okay that people call it like see-through mode see-through okay and next if you click number five it's back to shaded mode we call it shaded okay and if you click number six okay it seems to have nothing okay but for your info number six it's texture mode so if you click number six it will show you the texture if you have a texture okay so maybe just let me try to assign something for it right click assign new material let me assign a Lambert and this one it's called attribute editor all right so it shows you more info compared to channel box so inside attribute editor i would like to go to lambert and i would like to add some textures so i go to here click on the button beside the color and we'll like to go for uh, 2d textures and let's go with checker okay so right now you can see and if I click number five, it doesn't show me any texture. And clicking number six, it does prove that it shows a texture. Okay. If you click number seven, it turns to black. Okay. And the reason why it turns to black because it's not having any lightings. So number seven, it's showing the lightings. All right. So if you go to here, create, and let me just create some light, point light. Okay. So I'm going to click this button and this is move tool. Okay. We're going to move it out. All right. So click number six. Okay. It's texture mode. Number seven. It's a lighting mode. Okay. All right. So if let's say uh, I'm going to create another one, I'm going to move it over here and you can see that like this is move tool. Okay. And we have a shortcut for it. It's W. As you can see like it's display here w and uh, if you click this it's rotate okay you can rotate things around okay rotate up down left right okay and if you click r for scale okay that you can size up or down all right so again for the shortcuts w uh, uh w it's move e it's for rotate r it's for scale Q is for selection. Okay, so Q W E R. All right. Okay. And next we look into this. Okay, so these are timelines. So let's say if you have any animations, let's say I'm gonna do a quick animation. Press S to set a key. Okay. If I go straight to the end and I move this, I press S to set a key again. So if you scroll through it will shows you the animation okay so let me 
rotate, 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 and press S to set a key so that you can see it's rotating. Okay. All right, these are animation timeline preview. Okay. And next up, uh, sometimes we'll like to look into out of views. So you can hit spacebar. All right, so we can see that uh, this is a quad view uh, menu that we have top view, we have front view, we have side view, we have perspective view. Okay, so you can go to here, spacebar, tap, spacebar back, go back to here, spacebar. Okay, but I personally don't like to use that because I think that is very uh, annoying. Okay, uh, so a better way of doing that, like switching to the other views, is holding down spacebar. Okay, so it's this is a hotbox in Maya. This is very popular and this is very powerful. Okay, it keeps all the menus, all the buttons, all the stuff that you want to create inside this spacebar. Okay, right, you can see that we have like uh, added mesh the polygon tools, we have rigging tools, we have uh, particles tools, we have line tools, and we have other stuff. Okay, so to switch left click Maya, it shows you this, and we can switch to front view. Okay, spacebar, left click, top view, spacebar, drag up, perspective view. Okay, so any views that you like. Okay, so if you want a bigger space that you want to turn off this, okay, you can hit spacebar, left click, toggle down. Okay. So, uh, simple as that. All right. And I think that's about it for the introduction. Okay. Hope you guys enjoy. And uh, if you want to learn more, you can look into other videos that uh, I have just created. Okay. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.